My name is uh, Dara Gannon, I'm one of the organisers um, of the committee for commemorating the centenary of Lusitania in Court McSherry. Um, I'm also an Arnold crew volunteer in our, in our local all weather station here. About two years ago, um, we, we got together and decided that we want to do something special for the, for the centenary. Every year, we, we kind of consider ourselves to be the keepers of the Lusitania's resting place, and we go out and we lay a wreath on our anniversary. So for the centenary, we, we said we had to do something special. So we um, said we'd reenact the row, the lifeboat call that they did 100 years ago. Um, and then we said we'd do it in a, in a similar type of boat. We, we managed to, to get a, one of these boats on loan. It's a restored pulling and sailing lifeboat from Ryder in Cornwall. Um, very kindly loaned to us by Tony White. So she's here now and we've been training on her for the last couple of weeks. And um, tomorrow, on Sunday, May the 3rd, from 11 a.m., there's going to be a, a pageant reenacting the whole lifeboat crew from the time the Lusitania was struck by the torpedo to the launch of the lifeboat. And that launch of the lifeboat then will be the start of our, of our reenactment row out 12.8 nautical miles to Lusitania. Um, and you have a wonderful exhibition here in, in the lifeboat station. Thank you. Yeah, and in addition to the, the reenactment, we have exhibitions in our lifeboat station here. Um, the exhibition here kind of focuses on the disaster and rescue, and um, we, we, we try to give, do a little piece on the crew and all the rescue vessels that took part that day. And you can see we, we, we do a little piece on Patrick Johan as well. Patrick Johan, the famous Antarctic explorer, was the actual son of Timothy Johan, the coxswain of the lifeboat that day in the call to the Lusitania. So you have memorabilia uh, also in the lifeboat station? We do. We, we've got a glass case upstairs in, a, in, a, in, in the lifeboat station and we have some tickets and we have some um, you know, uh, second class dining tickets that would have been used on the Lusitania. Actually one of them is on the voyage just before her, her, her final voyage. Uh, we were donated quite a few medals from different people. Um, there are lots of things like that. Postcards, um, original postcards from 1915. Um, one of the lovely pieces we have upstairs is an old tool chest which was donated by Brendan Price in Dublin. I think it was his great granduncle or his great grandfather was a carpenter who had built the Lusitania and we actually have the tool chest that was used. So it's, it's pretty amazing.